men over 40, grab your kettlebells, because we're about to crush your total body with this 20 minute workout. Get it done. Hey guys, Funk Roberts here. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a 20 minute total body kettlebell workout specifically for men over 40. Listen, I know anyone can actually use this workout, but I designed this specifically for us guys in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, who can use the kettlebell as a tool to help us build muscle, burn fat, get explosive, get fit, and also build functional strength. So today, we're gonna to use the metabolic protocol. Listen, met metabolic training is the best way to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. That's why I've been using it and everyone else who uses my programs uses metabolic training. And we're gonna be taking that and kettlebells. So we've got 20 minutes, we're gonna be doing 10 exercises. Each exercise is 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest two times and then we move on to that next exercise. Now, today I'll be using three kettlebells. This is just a single kettlebell workout. I've got my 16s, I've got my 20s, I've got my 24s, all from Kettlebell Kings. And if you need kettlebells, like I said, get yourself some kettlebells. If you need them, then click the link anywhere in this description box, go to Kettlebell Kings, use that dis discount and you'll get 10% off. Okay guys, you ready? So hopefully you've warmed up. Our first exercise are goblet squats. You can see it in the description. We're gonna start off with goblet squats. I'm gonna use the 16 kilos first. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so you grab that kettlebell, clean it up, and we're gonna use a goblet squat and we're going to squat with the kettlebell up right by our chest, holding the horns, exploding up, and again, making sure those heels are on the ground and knees are pointing out. So again, this is my first round, so I'm not going too fast. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down and keeping that kettlebell up. Good, safely put that kettlebell down. I like to use, uh, so again, as we go through this, I'm gonna be coaching, giving you cues, and hopefully you've obviously used kettlebells before. This is not a full beginner workout, but for us guys in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, we wanna make sure that we're hitting our total body using a metabolic protocol. And this is my workout today. So we're gonna to go to the 20 kilos, and I'm gonna clean them up, right, using uh, the horns. Here we go. Clean those up. And now stepping back, feet about shoulder width apart. Actually, it depends. Everyone's different when it comes to squats. But now I'm gonna to try to go deeper. Explode up. It's great exercise for your core, glutes, quads. But everything stays the same. Heels on the ground, knees pointed out. All the way down, good. Good work, safely put that kettlebell down. All right, next up, we're doing kettlebell swings. Two arm kettlebell swings. So lower body now, but we're going lower body explosive movement. So I'm gonna start off with the 20s. Probably should go heavier, but I've been talking, so I gotta get my, my breath. Actually, no, we're gonna go 24s. Uh, let's go, go 20s. All right, so we put that kettlebell a foot in front of us. We're gonna hike it up. And again, explode through the hips. Remember, the arms are just there as a fulcrum. Throw the kettlebell through, hit, hinge at the hips, and then explode up. Make sure you're throwing that kettlebell back through the legs. Good. Safely put that kettlebell down in front of you. Good work, guys, good work. All right, that was way too light. With the kettlebell swing, you wanna go heavy, right? Because it's a lower body exercise. Explosive movement, powerful movement, violent movement, okay? And again, the arms are just there to keep that kettlebell from going forward. All right, it's been a while since I've done kettlebell swings. All right, we're gonna use the 24s. We're down, hike up. Good. So, so. 
So, I keep my elbows a little bit closer to my body just to protect my lower back. So, but explode, explode. Hinge at the hips, back straight. So, so. Really throw that kettlebell through the legs. Good. Put that kettlebell in front. Wow. All right. You can see the heart rate gets going. Explosive movement, powerful movement. Let's get on the ground for some single chest press. So let's start off with 16s. Just because the kettlebell is different from dumbbells, right? It's not the same. You don't have the exact same makeup. Okay, here we go. From the side, we come up. We drive that kettlebell straight up. Good. So as you can see, my elbow's at a 45 degree angle. I'm pressing the kettlebell straight up. Core's tight. Now we're hitting those pecs. My shoulders are getting work. Obviously my grip is getting work. And I'm controlling that kettlebell down. As soon as my triceps touch the ground, I'm coming up. Roll over to safely put that kettlebell down. All right, let's uh, spice it up a bit. I'm gonna move down the row. I like having three kettlebells. Listen, if you only have one kettlebell, that's fine. But go to kettlebell kings, kettlebell kings, and grab that second or third kettlebell. I'm using a set here, like an intermediate set, 16, 20, 24. It's amazing, I love it. Keep your nose out through your mouth. I'm moving into the 20 kilos. Again, from the side, roll over. And now I'm feeling this one right off the bat. Good. Feeling that in the pecs, shoulders. Drive straight up. Drive. And my triceps. Oh, good work. Let's bring this down. Let's safely bring the kettlebell to the other side. And we're gonna do the same with the 16s because I'm gonna start off with the 16s as well. So, again, I just showed you a very safe way to pull those kettlebells. You gotta maneuver a little bit with KBs, man. You can't go straight up like dumbbells, but you also gotta treat these like they're your babies. I love my kettlebells. If I was on an island and I need one piece of equipment, it's the kettlebell. All right, here we go. Roll over, elbows tight, get set. Now I've got my right arm. Now my left arm is, because I'm left-handed, is a little bit stronger, or is it? Let's see. Good. Good. So deep in, a little bit of air out. Remember, elbows at a 45 degree angle. Good work. Roll over. I'm gonna scoot down for my second kettlebell chest press. Again, for men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, great piece of equipment. It also helps with our joint health because we're using so many different muscles just by picking up the kettlebell. More muscles than we would use using a dumbbell or a barbell just because of the shape and the way the weight is distributed or distributed in the kettlebell. <laughs> That's my Canadian accent coming out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we roll over. <laughs> my Canadian accent, eh? Boom, boom, nice. And just take your time. Focus on the pecs, but because it's a kettlebell too, I'm feeling this in my triceps, shoulders, forearms, and of course my pecs. Boom. Set. Ooh. Blast straight up. Good work. Okay, let's roll over. Next exercise, bent over rows. So again, I'm gonna move this kettlebell safely. Always wanna be moving your kettlebell like treat each weight like it's the heaviest weight. Whether it's a 12 kilo, a eight kilo, or a 32 kilo, you wanna practice picking up the kettlebell, moving it around the same way. All right, so we're just gonna do regular bent over rows, hip hinge, back straight, rowing back by my hips. 
Okay, some people may have a wider stance. So you're pulling, just like you're pulling the lawnmower. Keep the elbows tight to the body. Good. Let that kettlebell hang and then pull from the bottom. Good. Good work. I like that, that's a nice weight. And again, this is a pull exercise too. So back, but we're also using functional movement, which is pulling. So by pulling, guess what else gets hit, right? The biceps get hit as well. I'm not saying that we don't get that in the dumbbells, but I'm telling you, for us guys, when we get older, this is basically my wife, she's 50. All she uses is pretty much her kettlebells. Yeah, she'll throw in the dumbbells and body weight. And myself, now that my back's getting better, I think. Okay, let's hip hinge down. Make sure our back's straight. Pack those back. And then row straight up. If you have back problems too, you may want to use something to hold on to. Pack a bench. Good. Row. Pull back, pull. Good work. So as I was mentioning before, because of the weight distribution and some of the movements that we can do with kettlebells that we generally can't do with dumbbells, we're gonna be strengthening a lot of the joints, a lot of the smaller muscles that we generally don't do, which is perfect for functional movements, perfect for everyday movement and perfect for prolonging our fitness and our health. That's why I love kettlebells. So that's what we're gonna be doing a lot more kettlebells in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, learn how to use this piece of equipment, valuable piece of equipment. Here we go. I'm using, putting my hand on that right quad. Focusing on keeping my back straight and rowing straight up by my hips. Up and back. So I'm literally pulling back and then not letting the, the kettlebell fall to the ground but controlling the kettlebell to the ground, right? Control and keep that core tight. A lot of core. Another thing that happens when we're using kettlebells is our core gets engaged a lot more than it would because of the type of movements, exercises, and just the stability that we're gonna need using that kettlebell. All right, so like I said, pull exercise. We're also in the back with the bent over row. As you guys can see, I'm feeling this. My muscles are loving this workout. But again, it's not just about muscles too. Here we go. You know, one of the things I always talk to people about, I mean, I'm really fanboying out on kettlebells. You wanna know why? Because I haven't used these in such a long time. Been certified for many years, but yeah. Good, focus, I gotta focus here. Good. Roll straight up, control on the way down. And, yeah, woo! Good work. You know, just grabbing things and moving things and picking things up much more easy, a lot better, a lot easier after using and training with kettlebells. It's amazing. And I get all of the guys and good women in my Kettlebell Spartan Academy tell me the same thing. It's like, yeah, I'm taking, grabbing boxes here and grabbing things here, I'm not getting any shoulder issues. Anyways, we're gonna do some pulse lunging. We're gonna do this two ways. We're gonna do this two ways. First, we're gonna pick up that kettlebell, step back into a lunge, our left and the right leg back, and we're gonna stand up and lunge here. So, we have like an offset going on here. Having the kettlebell in my right hand and moving and having that front leg, the left leg. We're just gonna go down and up, good. And this is just straight up and down here with this movement, focusing on the glute, helping you come up from that, from that position. And now we are going to rack the kettlebell. So we're gonna clean it up, rack it on the right side and still do the same movement. So you're gonna get two different variations. Deep through the nose, out through your mouth. I'm so happy you guys are here with me. Again, this is just kind of a beginner intermediate style workout, but nice from in over 40. So I'm gonna clean it up first, get into this position. And I've got the 16s, by the way. 
Good, so elbows are tight. As you can see, kettlebells right on my pec. Core's tight, driving up with that right glute. Boom, keeping that body tall. Knee pointed out. Oh, good work. Good work. All right, other side now. Maybe I'll face the camera here, give you guys a different look. Again, when I move these kettlebells, I'm always very careful. All right, so we're gonna have right leg forward, holding kettlebell with our left hand. Total body, like I said. Right leg forward, yeah. Sorry, I lost count there for a second. Here we go. So same thing as the other side. Body tall, this knee, front knee, Point it out, core tight. Drive up with that left glute. Core tight. Good. Nice. We'll put that down. I'm starting to feel a little twinge in my back there. And that's just because of a back injury that I have. So this next one's gonna be a little funky. Again. If you guys need kettlebells, hit up Kettlebell Kings, click the link in my description box, and use that discount code to get 10% off. And grab the three. 16, 20, 24. Perfect, you can do this workout. Here we go. All right, let's clean first. Good. Put that right leg forward. There we go. Good. Got that. And straight, making sure. I got a little problem with my wrist, so. Oh yeah, there we go, see that punch? Okay. All right. Next exercise, we're gonna do single arm kettlebell swings now. So we did two arm swings, but now we're gonna go more unilateral and get that explosiveness. We may not be as explosive because we are only using one arm. So I'll start with the right arm here. Man, this is where, this is where things start to heat up. All right, out here. Good. I'm using that opposite arm to help. But again, Good. Lower body. Hip hinge. Hip hinge. Good work. Oh. This is where the heart beat, the heart rate starts to pump. This is the conditioning part of this workout right here. And we haven't done swings in a while. This is where it starts to get a little freaky. I got 20 kilos here. I'm gonna stick to that just for my grip. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. Fill up that diaphragm. Here we go. Single kettlebell right arm. Feet are about shoulder width apart. I like to turn sometimes too. glutes so I can feel myself getting tired there wow so posterior chain definitely fatigued right now posterior chain is fatigued as you can see I was kind of slowing down in that explosiveness with that swing so I want to make sure that I don't mess up my form and technique, so I went a little bit lighter. I wanna make sure that I am actually using that posterior chain and lower body, glutes, hips, to get the kettlebell up. All right, here we go. Woo! Single, left hand. Nice. Good. 
Good. Explode. Whoa. Good. Use that lower body. Glutes. Posterior chain. One of the things I want to talk to you about with the swing is don't overextend, right? Do not overextend. Just come up straight, squeeze those glutes for that final, eh, right? It's a very violent movement. Well, again, we're gonna start with the 20s and see if we can make it. Oh man. If you just want a serious conditioning power explosive workout, let's do different variations of swings. Here we go. Bang Hip hinge. Hip hinge. Hard style swing. So now I'm feeling it in the posterior. Yeah. Oh man. Let's pick up those 16s, get a couple more out. Let's get two more out. One, two, oh. And there we go. There it is, baby. 20 minute kettlebell workout for men and women over the age of 40, 50, 60, 70. We just killed our total body. We did cardio, we did explosiveness, we did unilateral, upper, lower, push, pull. We did it all. And I'm so happy you're here with me. Once again, guys, if you need kettlebells, hit up the uh, link in the description box, Kettlebell Kings. Like this, share this, and use that metabolic protocol to build muscle, burn fat, and get the best shape of your life. I'm the Funkster, I love you, and I'll see you in that next kettlebell workout. Get it done. Ah!